So now let's see how we can work around with the brick mode inside of Tinkercad. So in order to work around with this, I'm going to go around into basic shape. And if I were to go around into, let's say, for example, uh, some kind of objects, I'm just going to go around into character right here. So I got some characters like hand and so forth. So I'm just going to bring in, let's say, for example, uh, this mustache right here. So there you go. There are some mustaches, as you can see. Let me just resize this around right here by holding sit on my keyboard. So let's say I want to regenerate this into bricks so that I can make this out of Lego bricks. Then I can go up onto the top right hand side where you can see bricks. So if I were to click on bricks, then you can see that the mustache is regenerated out into Lego bricks right here. You can see that the pieces are stacked up together. And this is kind of like an instruction on how you can build a mustache by using bricks. If you want the um, object to be more detailed, you can go up to the top and you can choose 2x. So the size of the design is actually more detailed. You can also go around on to 3x right here. So you can see that this is more detailed and looks much more like a mustache as you can see right here. So this is the ground right here. This is what you have. But if I were to go into layers, then you can see that the, uh, this is like a layer by layer instruction. So this is the first layer right here. If I were to click on two, this is the second layer, third, fourth, fifth, uh, sixth, and so forth. And as I click around, it shows each of the layer right here. So if I were to click on this one right here uh, with the less details, I can go to layers and you can see that there's about six layers. And if I were to go around, there's around six right here. Let me just go back around into the design mode. And if I were to add in other objects right here, like this one and so forth, and then go back into this mode, you can see that this is how it looks. You can go on to a more detailed type of uh, like 3x design. And there you go. This looks more like the brick design. And you can use this to build your own Lego brick design of the objects that you work around with in Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.